defensively, see the ball pretty well. Uh, two big turnovers, turnovers at the end of the half takes points away, whether it's 35 or kicking field goal. I figure you're going to get one of them at least. Um, and then uh, right before the half, they got a uh, 50-yard play with nine seconds to go for a touchdown. Got to make a play on the ball. Going to prevent defense and uh, how they will make it. So that takes it 28 to 10. Second half, come back out. I think we I believe we went down, maybe kicked a field goal early. Um, but uh, turnovers. One turnover becomes a touchdown, and uh, they also have a, a you know they have three long plays. Statistically, when you look at statistics, the one big factor that sticks out is they had four turnovers. We had two plus two turnovers, tough to win. You know, statistically, they ran for, you know 30 yards and passed for 390. Most of it long, long chunks. Fourth down to 17 was a backbreaker. We still held on there. Fourth and 17, you know, we brought pressure and uh, I think we hit the quarterback, the ball went up, back shoulder fade again, late, or we received made a nice play, we got credit Illinois, they kept playing and uh, made plays in the deep ball. You know, so we're going to have to be able, be able to make them. Um, extremely disappointed, nobody's more disappointed with them than our players and their coaches. Uh, one of the tougher games, maybe. That we've experienced certainly, and I uh, felt we got ready to play. We were, you know, we were ready to play, but uh, got to play through. Got to play through. Say the same thing I said to to our football team last week, and I'll say that now publicly. You know how strong are we? You know, are you strong enough to measure up? Are you strong enough to push through? Um, that's part of life. I've said this all the time. When we lose, but uh, it uh, takes on a whole new meaning when you when you experience something like this. So, the uh, message to our players is to get back up. Got a big game next weekend. Got to rally back. I'll take questions. A couple. Mark, uh, 20 points in the second half of the five losses. It's four points per game. What's happening in the third and fourth quarters as you see it? Uh, I started playing cover one as I saw it. And, uh, you know, we, we hurt ourselves with some, some different things, obviously. We had the opportunities to score. But uh, it's you know, <coughs> it, football is a game of technique. Football is a game of execution. You know, I mean, you, you execute the first half, you, you're doing the same type of stuff. There's only so many different type of runs that you run. You run power, you run gap schemes, you run inside zone, outside zone, throw the ball down the field in all different type of ways. Anything that you can think of, <coughs> but you got to make plays too. Uh, that's not that, that's not to lay it on our players, but you know. We moved the ball effectively at 500 plus yards. You can't turn the ball over, and then you can't give up big plays. You take those two things away, and you win the football game. You're walking away. Mark, we'll get the, the touchdown at the end of the half, and the touchdown at the end of the game. What happened in the coverage, and also on the pass interference? Were you guys in single coverage on all those? No, uh, no. I mean, single coverage is when you single coverage on a deep ball. You got a guy who can't put two guys <coughs> in the third, um, but. Uh, on the first one, with nine seconds to go, we rushed three, dropped eight, three deep zone, and uh, I think the corner looks like he got turned around a little bit. Um, but uh, he wasn't playing the ball with his back to the sideline, I know that. He played it through the sideline, which is more difficult. Um, you, don't have, you don't have your vision on the ball. Um, the one on the, was it unbalanced set, was on an over route, the guy in front of our corner, and, Safety had to carry the guy back across the field. Um, so he uh, made a good throw, good catch, and he outran the guy. Fourth and 17, one already, I think, already explained. I can't remember the other one. But, uh, the, the one, the, the Josh's pass interference. Josh's pass interference, you know. I've said pass interference is a very inconsistent call right now in the Big Ten Conference and across the country. I didn't see this pass interference. I thought both players were kind of trying to play the ball. Both players were pushing off somewhat. They made the call. They got to deal with the call. They got to, they got to, you know, they got to measure up the call in their in their area of, of uh, you know, in their arena officials. So I'm not going to whine about it. Okay, but uh, put ourselves down there. They got themselves down there, you know, against some of the things that we were doing. Yeah. Mark, what would you 
would you uh, tell the uh, students, the alums, uh, some are right not happy right now about the way things are going, what the future would be like, and what would turn it around that uh, maybe this is an aberration kind of trend? Next question. Mark, it feels like 25 point lead there in the second quarter. You had the, the two possessions that went in their territory, both ended up interceptions, both were tip passes, and you come out of halftime and you get down to one and it's up the field goal. Do you feel like you guys are that close to putting the game away and then the inability to do that just kind of snowballed on you late? Yeah, that's another missed opportunity there. That's a game with a lot of different things going on in that game. And we're down, as you said, on the one yard line and uh, uh, quarterback gets his foot stepped on coming out because of the penetration by the defensive lineman and, the, and then he fumbles and we're lucky to get the ball back and get a field goal. We're on the one if we score, you know, touchdown. We should score. It's first, you know, we're on the one, like I said. So very disappointing in that capacity, but you're going to look at that game and, and when we go back and look at the game, there's going to be a very, you know, very somber, somber moments there. Uh, so, got to deal with it. Mark, I think on the, the interception Brian threw that was returned for touchdown, the play before, I think he got hit pretty good in the back of the head. Was, was he feeling okay after that? At that point, it seemed like he, he seemed was a little to be. slow. We checked him. We checked him. Mark, we saw a lot of young star guys starting the game, um, two playing, say, Mag, Barnett, um, Mosley. I guess just if you could uh, talk about the, uh, the reasoning behind getting some of those younger guys in there and how that all unfolded. Well, we had injuries, so we started four fresh, four true freshmen on offense, and uh, but I think probably, I'm sure you're going to see some things where you know they did make plays more appropriately, but we didn't we made some mistakes. But I thought they played pretty well, basically. I don't think the work was sacked, uh, we ran the ball pretty effectively. Uh, you know, Cray Mosley had I think four catches, maybe three catches for 32 yards. Uh, Cody White obviously had a big game. Um, I think questionable call on his, his deep ball that he got <coughs> pushing off, but, you know, whatever. The play. But, um, you know, we played those guys because, we, because, those, because we got some guys injured. I mean, Daryl Stewart's out. You know, C.J. Hayes was out. Uh, obviously, Jay Naylor's out. Allen was out. You know, Luke Campbell's been sick all week. Hadn't practiced but one time since Penn State. Same with Mike Manasu. Practiced one day. It's in two weeks. So, you know, but, but everybody's affected by that. You know, uh, Illinois has some guys out for sickness reasons as well. So, you got to man up and, and, get, and get busy in there. So, I thought our guys uh, played pretty well, our young players, in a big moment. One final one here with Jack. Mark, the fumble that you got back, you mentioned that, and uh, then you were inches away from the goal line. Uh, is that? No, we were on the four-yard line after the uh, fumble. Uh, before the fumble? Yeah. Uh, I think you were inside the one. Yeah. Is that uh, Brian's choice to call a sneak, not call a sneak? Uh, no, that's not. No, the court, you know, we, we were running a power play. We're getting up in there running a power play. We run a sneak. Played before and he almost almost fumbled the football when he went to its left and they, they, uh, they almost got in and then uh, we went power play the next play and uh, you know I, I'm not sure who it was but got knocked back onto his foot which negated his his ability to turn the hand ball off and he fumbled it and we were lucky we got it back kick field goal disappointing though execution all set Everybody good thanks.